Hi everyone, it's Travis with the Jellyfish Compendium Project, and today we're going to be starting a new series where I test out and review a variety of jellyfish aquariums available on the market. So behind me here we have the 15 liter exotic aquaculture all-in-one jellyfish aquarium. So a couple things to note, um, I'm not being paid or sponsored to do any of these reviews. I just wanted to test out a variety of aquariums and see which ones are worth recommending. And secondly, this will be a little bit of a longer video. I wanted it to be kind of comprehensive and thorough. So I split it up into three different parts. So the first part is going to be sort of an unboxing and setup video. I'll kind of show you and walk you through what I did to get it running. The second one is going to be the actual review. Um, I kind of summarize my thoughts and feelings about it. I'll show you some of the jellyfish I actually put in the aquarium to test it out with. And then the third part is going to be a cost breakdown. So with that all being said, let's dive right into it. So let's take a quick look at what comes with the tank. So there's the manual. Um, there are two chunks of filter sponge, which will go in eventually. We've got the light. Let's see, that will clip on here in the back momentarily. Um, it's got a touch sensitive button here that allows you to turn it on and switch between a couple different colors. So that aside, we've got the pump and the power supply. Now the cool thing I thought about this whole tank is that everything here is a USB power supply and the light and the pump click right into the same power supply. So it's got one plug um, and obviously if it's USB powered, it uses very little electricity. So this uh, tank basically has you know no input on your electrical bill or anything like that. Um, and then got two bags of ceramic biomedia. So that's where all that beneficial bacteria will grow. Super important. And I'm glad to see a jellyfish tank, including this. Um, some jellyfish tanks really skimp on the mechanical and biological filtration. And I don't know why. I don't know if there's a cost cutting mechanism, um, but every aquarium needs plenty of filtration. And then the last thing is just a little tube that connects the pump to the spray bar. So then you take out all of this foam packaging and reveal the tank in its proper. So here I'm rinsing off the ceramic biomedia. It tends to be pretty dusty right out of the bag. I just tossed it all into a strainer and gave it a good rinse under the sink. And then I'm just doing the same thing to the two filter sponges, just giving them a quick and thorough rinse. Getting the biomedia into that little compartment uh, it took a minute. I kind of had to scoop it in there one handful at a time. So I thought this was neat. The two included sponges are a little bit different. So the one on the left there is more coarse. It's got larger pore openings. And the one on the right is finer. It's got smaller pore openings. And so that's gonna help prevent the sponges from clogging as quickly. It also means they're gonna do a really good job of filtering out your water. So I would put the finer one on the bottom and the coarser one on top. So every jellyfish tank needs some way to control the water flow. 
Different species have different flow requirements, and as they grow, they may need more or less flow. This is a critical part of any jellyfish aquarium. This tank comes with a pump controller that allows you to adjust the flow with the click of a button. I think this is a great solution since the pump compartment is too small for a valve and getting back there to adjust the flow would be really tedious. Now I was initially skeptical since there's only three speed options, I like the ability to fine tune a little more, but after testing this with a few species of jellyfish I think it works just fine. And so the last step is we've got the pump. So a pump of course and then the silicone tubing um, and so that literally just goes right on top there. Um, and something worth noting is this silicone tubing is really on there. Um, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, you don't need a hose clamp or anything like that. Um, now, again, don't know if you'll be able to see super well, but there's a little elbow fitting right here and it just fits into that little socket. So to make life easier, I'm taking the elbow off. Focus. And put the elbow onto the silicone tubing. And I got a pump tube and a little elbow that connects it to the spray bar. Um, so that all set, we'll just drop our pump down in there. Make sure it gets all the way down. And then we will reattach that elbow to its little socket fitting. Again, that's also quite snug. It's just a friction fit. Um, so again, no need for any zip ties or hose clamps or anything like that. But um, as you can see, pump, tube, elbow, leads straight to the straight bar. So that is uh, completely set up now. It's ready for water. I let the tank run and cycle for a few weeks and then it was finally time to add some jellies. Picked out three small moon jellyfish. Here they are day one, and then here they are a week later. You can see they've already gained quite a bit of size. They look nice and happy and healthy. And then here they are another week later. So I let those moon jellies grow in there for about two months before swapping them out for some marble jellies, and then after that, some peace jellies. And that way we had three very different species. We can see how all of them responded to it, and overall they did really well. I've waited until this point to bring this up because I know someone will rush to the comments and say jellyfish can't live in tanks with corners or I thought they needed round tanks. This design is based on what's called a tumbler tank and it's one of my favorite jellyfish tank designs. All jellyfish need water flow to keep them suspended, but not all jellies want to be pushed around in a circle. This type of jellyfish tank gives them more room and more freedom to move around in three dimensions. Overall, I'm very happy with this aquarium. I think it's an excellent option for people looking to get into the jellyfish keeping hobby. I spoke with Toshi, the owner of Exotic Aquaculture. He said their goal with this tank was to simplify things, and I think they achieved that really well. Diving into the jellyfish hobby can seem really daunting at first. There's a lot of research to do, a lot of information to process, and I think this tank really helps take some of that out of the equation. Not to mention, it's incredibly affordable. So now let's go over a couple of things I don't love about this tank. The first one, and probably the biggest one, is the surface skimmer they've added. So jellyfish tanks are notorious for forming like a biofilm on the surface of the water because they have lower flow and less surface agitation than traditional saltwater aquariums. They came up with an innovative way of addressing this by adding this little surface skimmer slot. And I think this was a great idea on paper, but I actually ended up having a couple of issues with it. With the moon jellies, I never noticed any problem, but with the marble jellies, I started to see an issue. They would kind of get stuck over there. They weren't getting hurt, but they were just kind of getting pulled up against it. And then with the peace jellies, they actually were getting pulled up into the surface skimmer and it looked like it was going to cause them some harm. So luckily it's an easy fix. I just took a piece of black electrical tape and put it over the surface skimmer. Electrical tape is jellyfish safe and it's easily removable. It seems like it's only an issue with the smaller, more delicate jellyfish. And again, it's an easy thing to fix. The second thing is that there's nowhere or no way to add a heater or a chiller. Adding a heater to the main display area is a bad idea as the jellies will get caught or stuck on it. If you rearrange the biomedia in the back, I think a heater could be added. That's something I'll we'll have to experiment with in the future. 
Again, this is meant to be a beginner jellyfish tank. I don't expect it to have everything, but it does somewhat limit the kinds of jellyfish you can keep. The last thing I wanted to mention is water volume. When I bought this tank, they had two sizes available, 8 liters and 15 liters, which is about 2 and 4 gallons respectively. In my opinion, 2 gallons is too small. I would at least go with the 4 gallon option. But as of editing this video, they've now released a 40 liter or 10 gallon model. More water equals more stability, so I would definitely go with the 10 gallon model if you can. So now we've reached the final part of the video, cost. All of the prices here are in US dollars and are accurate at the time this video was published. I bought the tank only, not the starter kit. That does save you a little money if you have those extra items already. So the tank is $193 plus a $90 flat rate shipping for a total of $283. That's about $70 a gallon. So is it worth it? Absolutely. I believe this is the most affordable tank on the market currently. And looking back at the review, I'd say it's also one of the better tanks available. They've just released the 10-gallon model, which isn't that much more expensive than the 4-gallon, so I look forward to trying that one as well. So I hope this video has been helpful. I'm super excited about jellyfish tanks like this coming to the market. Uh, I think tanks in general are probably the biggest limiting factor for the jellyfish hobby right now. Not only cost, but availability. So again, super excited to see options like this becoming more available. Um, I mentioned in the video, I think it's a great beginner tank, but I've been keeping jellyfish for like 12 or 13 years and I was still super excited to set this up and I have it in my living room right now. So I think it's great for beginners and experienced jellyfish keepers alike. Um, check out Exotic Aquaculture's website, check out their shop. Um, they've got lots of information about keeping jellyfish. They've got obviously tanks, jellyfish on there. They also do videos on Instagram. Uh, talking about jellyfish, how to keep them, etc. And they have awesome customer service. So definitely recommend them as a company as a whole. Um, but other than that, I think that's all for this video. Thanks everyone.